Meet us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Hey guys, let's meet Sarah Brigadier. All right, this is philfrontedcage.com, and this guy is definitely a rugged phone, and um, this tries a lot of different things to be rugged as possible, but it doesn't do quite its job. All right, let's take a look at it. I think I spoiled most of the fun, but um, let's get into it. It's got a two megapixel front-facing camera, definitely not a selfie phone, so don't even think about taking a selfie with this two megapixel camera. It's bad. And this, uh, it's got a Verizon logo, and What's printed underneath the uh, what's underneath that printed Verizon logo is the Sapphire Glass. Now this is not found on any other phones. Now this is stronger than the uh, Gorilla Glass Three, and this rarely catches any scratches or cracks. It's really a strong thing, and that's probably the only thing that I like about Coursera Brigadier. And on, underneath that are three hardware keys: back, home, and multitasking key. And those are all pressable hardware keys, so it might come useful when you're wearing a glove or in an um, extreme environment. On the right, we got a flap over here that allows you access to the nano SIM card tray, uh, nano SIM card slot, and the micro SD card slot. And underneath that is a dedicated camera shutter key, so you press and hold on to it, and then you'll be greeted with the camera. There we go. And on top, we got a power key, speakerphone button, and the earphone flap that allows you to connect your earphone is standard. And the volume rocker over here, uh, now this is not a design element, I made a scratch. And there's a hotkey that you can designate any of the apps or the actions like the pull down the not notification bar or wake up the phone uh, on your choice. And underneath that is a micro USB flap to allow you to connect a cable. And on the back, we got an 8 megapixel camera with the LED flash, Verizon the logo, and um, that's it. And uh, it's got a built-in battery. It's 3,100 milliamps of uh, the capacity, and it's nowhere near what you would expect on a 3,100 milliamps of battery. So don't expect too much. And let's get into the real game. Now, this is a thick phone. This is thick, rugged, and um, it complies with the mil spec and um, IP68 waterproof, dustproof, everything proof, uh, except for its performances and what it does well as a phone. That, it doesn't prove. All right, so it's got a, its own proprietary launcher and it's not exactly um, with a lot of functions, but it's heavily skinned. And I see what Coursera has been trying to do, making, uh, making it useful to the uh, heavy duty usage, uh, making keys big, uh, making them look apparent and um, everything they want to try. But it doesn't have to be in this way. You can make the button big, you can make the contrast a little extreme, but it doesn't have to be this ugly. Now, interface is really terrible. Uh, with that, some kind of hardcore design languages that we see. Now, on the settings, on the contrary, we see those um, bright colors over here that doesn't match to any of the design languages that we've found on the Kyocera Brigadier. And, um, However, the interface is pretty um, neatly done. We see the lock screen shortcuts over here and all those widgets, the barometers, all those neat apps follow exactly what Kyocera Brigadier is. But um, aside from those neat features, the interface needs definitely uh, a better, um, better design languages that's definitely needed. Now, what you might wonder about Kyocera Brigadier it being a rugged phone is how rugged it is. Aside from those standards that it complies with, it's got a sapphire glass and the, uh, and the secret with the sapphire glass over here is that it's got a smart sonic receiver. What it is, is it doesn't have the hole over here, but the whole screen vibrates by itself to get the sound vibrated right into your tissue inside your ear. So does it work? It does, it does. Uh, it allows you to hear your sound on the other party better on the noisy environments, but it doesn't do its job good. It works, but it doesn't work well. Um, and aside from that, if you're in a quiet environment, you wouldn't need the whole um, the smartphone receiver, but um, it simply sounds really bad in the in a silent positions. And aside from that, camera is of course bad. The 8 megapixel camera over here is so bad that you wouldn't want to take any of the picture with the 8 megapixel camera over here. And sound, of course, is bad enough that you don't want to hear any sort of music over here. And the only thing that we can rely on right now is the battery life. The 3100 millions of battery runs a lot of features inside Kyocera Brigadier. It's got a Snapdragon 800. Uh, 400 processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, and uh, 4.5 inches of a 720p display. Not exactly a massive package. So you would expect 3100 milliamps of battery would last long enough to run you uh, more than a day, but it does not really. 
uh, with the numbers itself, the 3100, it should be uh, more than hopeful to get you enough juice. But um, with uh, without any battery leaks uh, on the idle, we almost see a straight lines of the graph. Without any of the battery leaks, we were only able to manage about three hours and a half uh, the screen on time. We usually, on the uh, flagship phones, we usually have uh, five hours, five and a half hours with the same usage. We don't exactly have the exact script to be precise, but I, as a personally, as a reviewer, have almost the same pattern every single day, so that uh, should be reliable. So the battery uh, life was disappointed as well. So what is this good for? I'm not really sure. If it's just one ruggedness, this might do its job, but if you want to sacrifice everything, for the ruggedness itself, uh, that shouldn't be the case. Um, it wouldn't usually be the case. Now we got better options as well. We got Galaxy S5 Active, and if that's a little bit uh, pricier to the point that you're getting, then we have a Galaxy X Discover 3 that's coming very soon. Uh, I'm not sure about the state side, but at least in Europe, that's coming soon. So that could be your trusty alternative. This might be. Um, this is probably the only offering. Uh, of the rugged smartphone that Verizon offering. So uh, you might want to consider this, but um, we hardly would recommend. Um, we rather would recommend something, any other phone with the OtterBox, um, the heavy duty cages that should work better. Now that was Kisera Brigadier. Uh, even if you are looking for a rugged phone, this is not your call. Definitely not. Thanks for watching. Don't get it.